Just have a few formalities uh, where I'd like to welcome you all here to our sixth annual Women in the Media Conference in Ballybunion. Now, I'm reliably told that a good speech should be like a comet. Dazzling, eye-opening, and over before you know it. So I'm not sure if I can deliver the first two, but I'll do my best for the last one. So um, the last six years putting together Women in Media has been an amazing experience. The overwhelming support, enthusiasm and willingness of the people that have got involved has been astounding and I've encountered some amazing people and made some terrific friends. I'm truly grateful for that. <clears throat> Very briefly, I'm going to skim through uh, some of what we ha have to offer over the weekend. I believe we have a fabulous program for you with something for everybody. And immediately following us here, uh, led by Barbara, who has her own uh, unique sense of style and wit, we have Women in Comedy. This is a first for women in the media, and I think everybody here this evening uh, is looking forward to that. Barbara has been a stalwart supporter of women in the media for some time now. And actually, she first arrived in Ballybunion about two weeks after we had our first <laughs> Women in the Media conference. <laughs> so Saturday, we'll open up with our ever-popular uh, Women in the Media, chaired by Katie Hannan. And uh, that will be followed immediately by our political symposium chaired by the long-term supporter of women in the media, Mary Dundon, the head of journalism in UL. Both of those panels will feature some of our brightest and most impressive women. And uh, I can guarantee you they're going to be very lively and intelligent discussions, so don't miss them. And they're always, always uh, full here. So um, <clears throat> we're looking forward to that. And Sunday morning then, we'll tackle an issue that's close to my own heart. Growing up in the 21st century, the challenges facing our young adolescents today. Nearly every parent we know uh, knows exactly how problematic this is, and hopefully we can shed some of the light on some of those issues. And um, I won't bore you, but there's full details in the brochures that are left around the hotel this evening, so you can pick them up and have a look. And uh, I hope you can join us for some or all of them. And I just take this opportunity to remind you, anyone who's not familiar with Ballybunion, as always, the sun is shining. <laughs> the scenery is spectacular. The cliff walks are superb. Uh, the crack is good. So I would uh, invite you all to familiarize yourself with all of that here now over the weekend. And uh, particularly after here, when we finish with the ladies in comedy, we have some entertainment up in the bar and uh, we just kick off the evening. So, um, I can say, I look down here tonight and I see many women that I have um, well, soldiered with over the winter. Shall we say, we did some fantastic nights here in Kilcoolies uh, with our guest to chef evenings. And um, we have some fantastic ladies who worked with me on those, people that um, make Ballybunion fabulous. They're, they're what towns like Ballybunion thrive on. They're a huge part of our community. And uh, without that, uh, community sense over the winter, I said, and, and in the summer, Mela, there, um, and I just acknowledge those this evening, a few of them here in the crowd. Um, we worked with this guest, the chef thing over the winter, we raised funds for the Hospital Foundation, Parkinson's Association, and um, what was the other one? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> but anyway, and, um, but anyway, Sylvia Solomon is down there in the back, Sylvia's done Trojan work for our hospice over the years, Susan Callan, Pat Buckley, and um, uh, Betty Hartnett. Uh, so I'd like to thank those ladies especially for all their hard work here over the winter and having some great fun too. Without them now, uh, we, we wouldn't be here. So if you just forgive me for singing out those few years, uh, for a few ladies, sorry. And also new to uh, Women in the Media this year, I have to welcome Vodafone and Anna Leary and her team. And I am delighted that they came on board this year. They have allowed women in the media to dream bigger, uh, to do more, and I'd like to say a very special thanks to Anne and her team, and to welcome them all to Women in the Media, to Ballygonian, and to Kilcoolies. Anne has been a fantastic supporter of women. She's, I believe, is insightful and enthusiastic, an avid cyclist, and she is going to experience all the wonders of um, Ballygonian scenery tomorrow. Her passion for empowering women is inspiring, and I have to thank her and her team at Vodafone, and especially Emma Casey. Emma has efficiency and her discernment. She's been amazing and a pleasure to work with over these last few weeks. And I have to say thank you, Emma, for that. You've been really great. Also down at the back somewhere, I think, is Mandy Johnson. 
another truly wonderful lady. She's hiding there at the piano. Is she going to play? Um, Mandy can possibly be summed up with this little anecdote when we were uh, doing some planning on women in the media. And Mandy had yet again delivered some amazing insight and somebody turned around and said, Mandy, you should be running the country. Yes. And Mary Hurley turned, out, turned around as quick as a whip and said, she's already done that. <laughs> so Mandy, thank you very much. And before, lastly, before I pass you over to the very wonderful and capable Mary McCallaghan, who incidentally was our very first uh, winner of the, the, of the Mary Cummins Award back in 1913, I think it was, 2013, God. <laughs> 2013. <laughs> I have to thank her for that it was a courageous leap into the unknown when she agreed to come to Ballybunion and uh, she has attended women in the media every single year since then. She's been one of its main proponents over that time and I would like to thank her again for her kindness, her generosity and her endless goodwill. She's been amazing. And finally, just let me say in what has been a seminal year for women with movements such as Me Too, Time's Up, I Believe Her, and the forthcoming repeal on, or sorry, repeal the eighth. Women's voices have never been stronger. And it gives me great joy and some pride to know that women in media is playing its part in speaking up against some of the prejudices that we as women face. I am so proud to be able to facilitate the coming together of these brilliant, intelligent and very capable women. Each one of them an outstanding role model for all of our young girls today. And the men that are joining us, well, they're not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Murray McCallaghan. to be here once again. Uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, John and Joan O'Connor because actually it was their idea. Uh, many people come up with ideas and never do anything about them. But they had an idea and they had their own dream and they pushed with it and they worked so hard and down the last six years and then myself and Katie Hannon have been here right from the beginning, a Doha woman. I've learned to pronounce that properly eventually, Katie. And I uh, just want to say thank you so much John and Joan O'Connor for setting this up in the first place, for sticking with it, and for being so decent and kind and doing such an important job. I want to thank Anne and Larry and Vodafone, because actually it's so important that someone like Anne and Vodafone, Anne is obviously such a stellar representation of what women can achieve, quietly, but importantly, and decisively. And it's an honor to have you here today, and thanks so much for supporting us, Anne. amazing thing about Bally Bunyan is the sun always shines at this weekend. <laughs> Honest to God, I, myself and Katie said, I share a small office of the main primetime office with Katie Hannon. It is the best crack. If you want to know what's happening in RT, you come into Miriam and Katie's office. We know everything now. Obviously, as wise Kerry women, we keep it to ourselves. <laughs> but uh, I just want to say, as I walked in here tonight, I felt really privileged. I got driven down by an incredibly impressive journalist called Marie O'Halloran. Thank you, Marie, for driving me from the Irish Times. Siobhan Creighton, one of the most impressive women in the country as well, and Katie. And when I walked in and I met loads of other women, I'm not going to name every one of them, they are women who are at the top of their game in this country. And there are rarely events like this that I go to where you feel you are in a room with women who are doing very important things at the top of their game. And this is what Women in Media facilitates. And much more importantly, I also just met a whole crowd of Kerry women who come here tonight. And frankly, I'm so pleased you came because this is what these events are about. Now we're going to have fun. Catherine Lynch is here. We are going to have fun. I'm going to introduce you quickly to the CEO of Vodafone, Anne O'Leary. because I'm not much fun at all. <laughs> um, I'm delighted to be here and I was really looking forward to this weekend because it meant I could drive from Dublin, pop into Cork, see my mum and my brothers and my lovely nephews. And when I popped into, my mum is 88 and she's in a nursing home and I don't see her as much as I should. And the first thing she usually says is, are you working for a phone company? <laughs> and I go, yes, mum. And why don't you phone me then? <laughs> Okay, Mum. Uh, so, but it was wonderful. And then to drive down here to beautiful Ballybunion, and I 
while I'm going to be at the conference for the weekend, I will be out cycling and running and maybe swimming. So I'm looking forward to that. But in terms of supporting this event, I suppose um, supporting women and diversity has been a key agenda item for me for the last 10 years. As a CEO of Vodafone, I set up the Women's Network because I felt women need to be sponsored and supported and we really needed to uh, support each other. And uh, we now have 63% female at executive level in Vodafone and 50-50 at management level. So, and not only with that, we have fantastic business results. We have 2.3 million Vodafone customers. And, and they're very good, thank you. Thank you, um, Actually, I was on the phone most of the way down here and it does actually work, so it's great with my car kit, of course. Um, but, uh, so, when Emma Casey came to me and said to me, and there's a women in media event, you know, what do you think? Would you like to support it? I was delighted to support it because I suppose it was the next phase for me while we're focusing on gender diversity in business, the importance of having different views and opinions and that our business reflects our customers. It's really important for me and for Vodafone that in the media we're getting equal voices being heard and opinions and real proper debate and discussion. And really, I have to be honest, I was a little concerned over the past few years that we weren't getting that. And I know that we have some great journalists, so that's really why I wanted to support it. So thank you for giving us the opportunity to support you. I'm really looking forward to uh, hearing different opinions and having a great weekend with all of you. Thank you.